Hello, this is Jukka from Sixth Sense. Today we will have a look at the new SRC 600 series of room controllers. SRC 600 series room controllers have a color touchscreen and are flush mounted to a standard wall boxes. SRC 600 series controllers have a backnet and Modbus communications and have a very attractive user interface, as you can see. Let's have a closer look at the user interface. On here, on the left hand side, we can see the room temperature inside the what we call action ring. If we had a humidity or CO2 sensors fitted, those readings would be shown inside the action ring as well. We have arrows down and arrows up for the user to adjust the set point. We have the um, current fan speed, which is showing in M because it's in manual mode. And if I press the current fan speed, it goes to automatic. Now it's in automatic mode. The current target is 21 degrees and uh, we have a blue energy ring in the center of the display. If we now start increasing the set point, you can see that the fan speed is re uh, being reduced and also the color of the energy ring changes. The fan speed is changed because we are monitoring the uh, demand for the fan and because the temperature difference between the target and the room is reducing, hence we are reducing the, the fan demand. At the same time, there is a less cooling demand and therefore the color or intensity of the, of the blue is changing. If we continue increasing the set point, we will start to get heating demand and exactly the same way the coloring changes. Here on the bottom we have an, uh, a dimming icon and if we, if we press the dimming icon that dims the complete the display which is very useful in hotel applications, uh, in other applications, apartment applications, office applications as well. If we click the screen again that goes back to the uh, displaying the normal control. We can now enter to the further setting screens through the action ring. So on this screen we have a more functions such as locking the screen, echo mode, off mode, cleaning mode and depending on a configuration we may or may not have another functionality there as well on the further setting screens. On this screen we also have access to the configuration menus and, and button to go back. If we want, want to lock the screen I press the lock icon it brings the lock code which is a four digit code and we enter the lock code. Now the screen is locked and if I go to the front screen you can see there is no up and down arrows because the screen is locked. There are different lock modes, uh, different things are locked uh, based on the requirements. The screen can also be locked over the network so that gives a very good functionality for example for landlord applications or when the screen want, um, is needed to be locked in, in certain times of the day for example. If I go to the uh, further settings screen again I can click to the lock code again and I can put to the code again and I can enter and I can cancel that the lock. If I press the off icon now the controller gone to the off mode and you can see the color changed from the red to blue as well. This is because we are now controlling to a off mode target which is less than it was the, uh, the target before. And we can cancel the off mode from the screen. The device can be overridden to off mode via network or via the digital inputs on the device. If we go further setting screens again, we have a echo mode as well. In echo modes, the set points, or actually the dead zone around the set point is in, uh, enlarged. And that means that it saves on heating and cooling energy. So again, and again, we can cancel it and we can also cancel it over the network or via digital input. To configure the SRC600 uh, devices, 
we will need to go to the configuration menus through this button on the bottom of here. If I press that, it asks the maintenance code. And as default, the maintenance code is 6666. I press enter. And now we go to the configuration parameters. There are five different menus groups for the configuration parameters, control settings, inputs and outputs, fan boost, light and fines, alarms and system settings. What we also have in this area is something called info button. Info button tells us current values of the inputs and outputs and is very useful for the engineering and debugging functions on site. Let's say that if I want to the, uh, activate a light function, or a boost function. And um, so I select the boost target, for example, heating stage. I enable the lights mode. And then also I enable the blinds mode. So if I now go back to the front screen, you can see there are new icons. We have uh, the boost button, we have a blinds icon, and we have a lights icon. So by pressing those icons, we can adjust the light light levels for example or the blind levels or we can set up the boost for the device which is adjust the boost time is adjustable in the settings as well if i go back to the uh, maintenance go, uh, level we can now for example go to the alarms i can set up the alarm based on the room temperature amber threshold with 12 degrees and the red threshold with 26 and if I now go back to the front screen, you can see there is a amber alarm because the temperature is above 12 degrees, but uh, below the 26 degrees. This is very useful, for example, when we have a CO2 readings. Let's go back to the configuration menu. And um, system settings. This is where we set up the address, portrait, and other communication settings, brightness of, of the screen. We can also um, enable Fahrenheit swapping. We can set up the codes for the lock modes and maintenance code, and also staff code, which is another level of uh, protection on a device. In a control settings, for example, we have uh, different control settings, including the min and max, set point adjustments, proportional band, and so on.